every homeowner needs to know about their main electric panel. Mama, can you fix it? Most of the time is outside. This is the service panel for the house. This is from your utility company. It's just in case you have a breaker trip on you. So you need to know where to come. Not to be scared or anything, this is fully insulated. So let's say you had a plug that's not working anymore or somewhere in the house, the breaker trip, you can come out to the panel. And usually when the breaker trips, it goes like this. A lot of times it's in the center or like this. So all you need to do is come back and trip it back on. You can tell it's on and off. And if any, for any reason you can't, you put it on and it trips back, then you need to stop. That means you have a short in the house or a short in one of the appliances. And that's when you need to call a qualified electrician. That's dangerous. And most of the time, let's say your dishwasher quit or your garbage disposal quit. A lot of times it's, it's marks right here or on a sticker on the door. This is your main service disconnect, which is these. If anything happens, like a natural disaster or, or earthquake, or you need, for any kind of reason, you need to shut off that whole house, you need to know the service disconnect. The whole thing, you shut it off like this. These are your dryers, AC, and oven. These are mostly the heaviest gauge appliances. They're 40 amp, 35 amp, and 30 amp. These are usually the heaviest ones. And let's say your dryer stops, you can come here and flip both of these switches. And most of the time, if, if it trips, you need to go off first, complete it going off, and then go back on. And that's it. Today, we're going to talk about GFIs. They're mostly in the kitchen, bathrooms, and wherever there's water. Sometimes they're in crawl spaces, attics, dens, and sometimes they're in laundry rooms. Wherever there's water, you're going to see a GFI. You don't have to have a GFI on every plug. Sometimes they're connected together. So this can control a plug to the, in the other wall. So whenever a plug stops working, let's say for example in the kitchen, before you call an electrician, go check your GFI. And they usually have a reset button on them, which is right here. This is when it trips. So all you need to do is press this button to reset it. As long as sunk in like that, it means it's working. And for you to know which GFI is controlling which plug, most likely you're gonna have a sticker on the other plugs. For example, they didn't need to put another GFI here. All they needed to do is put a sticker on it and that's when you know that GFI is controlling this plug. Now, a lot of times, most of the times, the garage will have a GFI and it will control something in the house. So let's say in the dining area, all of a sudden you're using the vacuum and it just is not working anymore. First, you go check your panel. If your panel is all, nothing is tripped, you go and check the GFI inside the garage. And most of the time, inside the garage is on the clear wall and it's pretty high and it looks exactly like that GFI. First, go check trip that. If it doesn't work, then you can call a licensed electrician. Yeah.